Dear Brian of the Lunduke clan. What up, James? I recently purchased a new car and thought, how could I Linux this baby up? <laughs> I like you a lot. You're my new best friend. As the radio is less than functional, I'm bodging together a Linux baby... <laughs> bo <laughs> bodging together. I've never, I've never heard the word bodging, but I feel like it's a very Britishy term, meaning clobbling something up. Clobbling is, by the way, also apparently a word. Uh, what was I talking about? Right, bodging together a Linux-based radio to meet my craving for all things Linux. What are your thoughts on projects like this? Running Linux in places where Linux isn't the go-to method. Kindest regards, <laughs> James. Um, in parentheses at the bottom. Uh, BT dub. I occasionally use Arch. Uh, yeah, you, you didn't shout it from the rooftops like so many. It was in parenthesis, after all. So, you know, you're cool. Um, I think we all occasionally use Arch. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like uh, everyone occasionally eats eats some junk food, right? <laughs> like Even if you're like a health food nut, uh, you eat some junk food sometimes. And there's some people that only eat junk food. I once knew a guy... This was back when I was in high school. It was one of the dads of, of one of one of my friends in high school. He was giving me a ride somewhere, and he had recently been like at like a like a camping retreat with us or something like that, where all the food was you know made there, and like he was just clearly not enjoying himself. Like <laughs> if I remember right, it was pretty good food, you know. Like it was like like not just like you know cano beans, which I I love cano beans, but it was like like decent quality food and. and as we're driving home after all this, uh, he's like, I got to stop at the first McDonald's we see. And he's talking on the way home. He's like, man, you know, I, I'm at the point where if I don't eat McDonald's like every day, <laughs> I just don't feel right. Which, uh, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think he understood the ridiculousness of it and the fact that he was probably chemically <laughs> addicted to McDonald's at that point. Um, what was I talking about? Right. Uh, so you can occasionally, though, eat, eat at McDonald's. I <laughs> mean, you don't have to shout it from the tips. Um, what were we talking about? Right. How could I Linux this baby up? Linux running in places where it's not the go-to method. Here's the thing. There's less and less places where it's not the go-to method. They're putting Linux in crockpots, Linux in thermostats, Linux in, Linux in door locks. Everything has Linux. I mean, like the Tesla is running Linux, though they don't always release all of their source code from what I've seen, which makes me a little bit grumpy, Mr. Musk. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Musk. <laughs> I expect you to release the source code. Um, so, I don't know. It just seems like there's there's not a whole lot of places where it's not the go-to option. I mean... I mean, yeah, I agree, though, like getting a car where, you know, it didn't necessarily have this awesome Linux based functionality already and just getting it in there and like hooking up car computers and radios and all sorts of things running Linux. It's really satisfying. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, uh, we should be able to put crazy operating systems if we want, like like FreeDOS or uh, heck, Haiku on in our car computers and our, in our, in our thermostats if we're that crazy uh, i still don't understand that idea um but i feel like we should be able to and that makes it cooler like the ability to tinker with it is what makes it extra cool i think that's uh, it's just kind of how i feel on that matter um i don't i don't know if it's got a computer if it can run an operating system I kind of want to be able to choose that operating system, right? Whether it's Linux or something else, and it's usually Linux, but but I want to be able to choose, you know? So I think that that's fantastic. I think any place you can take whatever a stock or button-down operating system is on a particular device or in a particular industry, and you can just rip that sucker right out and slap Linux in, uh, even if it works funkily at first, I think that's awesome. <laughs> Like, that's just glorious. Like I've I've got back there. You can only see the keyboards of it. Uh, that's a TRS-80 Model 100, right? There's no way I can run Linux on there. That's just not doable. The thing's got like 23 kilo uh, what's its of actual usable RAM. By the way. I don't know if you guys know I do this, <laughs> but occasionally I'll slip a word in like a kilowatts it or whatnot to kind of make it seem like oh, Brian might not know what he's talking about. 
I always get an email or a tweet or like a, a Fediverse post or something. Or there's like a, a random comment on YouTube, something about, about, oh my gosh, he didn't know what the, he didn't know about the kilowatts. It's in the doodads and the, and the, and the gigawatts, right? And then I hear about it <laughs> and it drives me so much pleasure. Um, but if I could fit Linux in 24 kilowatts, it's, I would put it on there in a heartbeat. It would run so slow. It'd probably take a month to boot, but it would be so fun, right? Why not? Why not do that? I think you're making the world a better place, James. That's just how I feel about the matter. It makes the world a better place when people monkey around with stuff, right? Right? If your TV has an operating system built in, whatever like proprietary RTOS or whatever they stick on on a particular TV and you rip that out and put Linux or NetBSD or FreeDOS. I want to see a TV running DOS. I want to see that happen. Did you guys know that it is the 25th anniversary? I believe it's the 25th of FreeDOS is like in a week, something like that. How crazy is that? It's insane. FreeDOS, a GPL, GNU, Happy Pants, open source, free software version of DOS has been around for a quarter of a century. Put that on a TV. Stick that in your cars. <laughs> I just feel like they need to be running DOS. I really don't know why. Um, speaking of things you can monkey around with, this, this. This right here, see that? That the Clockwork Game Shell. Uh, it's super, super rad. It normally costs, I think, I think it's like 150 bucks or so. Uh, I've got one coming. I'm gonna play around with, and I'll do a little, little my style review on the show. But uh, probably, if you guys want one, uh, if you don't want one, if you just want me to do something else, tell me to do something else. I'll do it. But they're cool because it's all Linux powered, and it's all really modular. It's got these little pieces and parts, and uh, you know, you can play retro games on it. But you can also do like. <coughs> I hesitate to say the phrase homebrew games, but uh, uh, that sort of thing, you know, just random Linux games, you know, custom tailored to those controls and screen dimensions and all that. Super, super rad. Um, giving away one of those with the uh, folks over at Linode. If you go to linode.com slash Lunduke giveaway, uh, the URL is right there in case I misspoke, misspoke it. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Um, you can go over there and, and, sign in. I don't believe you need to be a new customer in order to sign up. I think existing customers can sign up. Um, but like at first, the way of the workflow was, is it either wasn't obvious or it wasn't working for existing customers to sign up for the giveaway. But I think they fixed that now. Something like that. Uh, anyway, but go to linode.com slash Lunduke giveaway um, and, and register for that because we're going to give away one. I want to say it's the middle of this next week. So or middle of this week. So like Wednesday or something like that is the or Tuesday. It might be even go to the URL and check and see if it's available. I should know these things, but I don't. Anyway, I really want one of those. And I think you also if you sign up for that, and you're a new customer, I think you get a $20 credit for hosting things and whatnot, which is a yeah, good deal. So $20 of hosting, I'm going to set up a little WordPress blog, what have you. Um, and then, you know, possibly win that thing, which is rad. So yeah, <laughs> shooting that thing is a fun thing to monkey around with. I've gotten to play with one of them, but not my own. I have a, two two people I know have them and love them, and they're very very cool. Um, uh, the buttons, if I remember right, aren't like the most amazing gaming buttons I've ever used, but they were pretty good, like better than I expected them to be, like highly playable. I mean, better than many of the little random gamey what's it's you see behind me. So uh, I anyway. Cool. Uh, also, if you go over to lunduke.com, you can see other ways to follow this show, to send me questions you want to have answered live on the air, all that good sort of thing. And if you want to get the video version of the show, I recommend doing it via library. Uh, there's a URL there, beta.library, lbry.tv. Uh, if you want to just do like a web-based version, but if you want to like deal with all like the 
the crypto coins of what's it's and the <laughs> and the helping out on um, the bit streaminators and whatnot for the decentralizers. Uh, you go over to librarylbry.com. There's desktop clients and Android clients. It's all open and happy and delightful. Um, and you can use that to get the DRM free MP4 version of the show, which is a good thing to do, but it's also over on YouTube and iTunes and you know, put it on the blue tube and then transfer it over. And then you got dog party. <laughs>